we're going to be looking at playing with your other scout today. Some things to consider while watching the following clips will be trusting your teammates. Notice that people commit when you ask them to. Um, we're going to be looking at alternating aggro and heals with your other scout as well as with your medic. And we're going to be looking at focus firing players. So this first demo we're going to be looking at is from Ben, so shout out to Ben and Alec. Um, unfortunately, Alec's demo kept crashing, so we weren't able to use it. So for each of the following clips, we're going to let you guys watch it as it is, and then we're going to slow it down and I'll break it down for you guys. Alright, so Ben comes into mid and he's going to go on this right side. Um, he doesn't really have much to do yet, and it's good that you kind of play it slow. And wait for your classes to get there. So their combo is going far left, and Alex actually up top left. So Ben tries to keep people off of his players, and he's going to play heal. So notice that he doesn't have to push the soldier, and that soldier's going to walk into kitchen. Um, so they're going to play heals so and just make sure they're covering their medic. And right here is actually a questionable decision whether or not to fight this soldier, who's full health, because he could have died there but he's going to come back and help their scout out and they're going to get health so from here it's only them two up Alex is going to be playing on the left side and notice that he waits right here um, so they're aggroing on Alec and Ben's free to walk in so while this soldier is distracted on him Alex is going to walk in and shoot the demo um, so while the focus fire isn't really optimal it, it ends up working out um, so ideally they would have shot the same thing whether that was the demo or the pocket so for the next three clips, we're going to include both my POV as well as Corrin's POV. Um, it's just going to help because we don't have comms. So being able to see what he can see as well as what I can see helps uh, make a clearer picture. And that's how important comms are. However, I'm not going to be walking through what he does. It's uh, merely just here to help you guys. So a lot of these plays being made are, are based purely on comms. Uh, whether that's me telling Corrin to focus a certain player or whether we should pinch a certain doorway. If, if we call it they're leaving a certain way or coming into us a certain way, we will we'll play differently. Uh, so the lack of comms is pretty big, but I think uh, his POV kind of makes up for it. Alright, so notice that we don't have to go the same direction. Corrin goes right to make sure you can push the demo if they ended up going right, and I just peek left. So their whole combo goes there, and I don't want to fight that, so I'm going to move over to the right side and just play point, because we have position right now. Uh, we get a soldier to bomb so we can push the point, and we're just going to fight this here. So we get a call that something's on point, so we're actually going to drop off. Um, our medic calls that she's under point, so I'm going to move left to reconnect with her, and we're just going to try to play this fight out from here. So I play this soldier right now, um, just so he can't really do anything to us, and I'm ready to get out. We still have a scout in, and he should actually die, so I just kind of wait here and see what happens. Uh, he ends up getting out, so we're going to move under, and I'm going to let our medic heal him. I'm going to try to get some attention away from him so he can heal up, and what we should actually do is rotate our heals right, and just both of them should walk up that right side. So the reason I push left here is to make sure that that soldier who is left can't just jump us if we're both going right, or can't jump our medic. Uh, after we get the soldier on the right, we just make sure that we can clean up the soldier on the left, uh, which either went around choke or just sat an elbow. Alright, so one thing that needs to be made clear in the other video is that this is more of a typical mid. You're not really going to be beside your other scout the whole time, and usually the only time you'll be working together is when you're cleaning up. Uh, because you're really agile, you're able to rotate heals and rotate aggro really well, um, as seen in the first clip. But uh, in our second clip, you'll notice that we just walk on point. We both sit there. Uh, that's kind of typical of how you would play mid until you get a distraction. You let your heavy classes lead, and then both of your scouts will push in. So once again, you'll notice on mid that we go two different directions. I'm going to go left side just to make sure that if no one's there and contesting me, I get a free flank. And if people are, I can always just back up into our team. Uh, so we're going to try to focus the scout that's in here early, and we lose a soldier that's in early, so we're just going to play it slow. 
I rotate to the flank because I know that our combo wants to leave and I'm just going to play it slow with them. So we're still in here and I can't really jump up that left side. So I'm going to try to rotate under. Uh, I'm going to end up getting the soldier and notice that Corrin's still playing on point. They're trying to push him. So I'm going to try to get some pressure off of them by playing this. So this demo looks at me and I know that the scouts they are trying to shoot me. So I'm just going to back up and notice that I just sit here and I reload. Um, I don't need to peek that corner super hard because I know people are coming. And now that Corrin comes in, I can just play this with him. Uh, it's a free kill on the demo. And we clean up this mid. So you'll notice in these fights that our scouts don't really commit very hard. We're always ready to leave and we're always ready to reload and come back into a fight. Um, so even when I get the demo's attention, I back up and I don't play the corner really hard. So I let Corrin come back in um, as I get that scout's attention. And I, I go back around the wall and he comes in for free. Uh, when everyone's focused on him, I go back in. And this is what I mean by rotating heals and rotating aggro. At the beginning of this clip, I'm going for a back cap, which doesn't end up working out. So I'm going to have to come back into mid. Um, they're still fighting it. And I think we have a numbers advantage. So we're going to walk in here. I get the force off. And I think we're going to lose this demo. So I'm going to move left. And we get their demo. And we notice that someone's fighting them my lower right. So I'm going to move under there and try to help him out. Uh, their combo pushes me, so I'm going to back up, but Corrin calls to come in, so I'm going to push. Um, and their medic ends up dropping in front of us, and we're just going to be able to get him. For an episode recap, we're going to look at these five points. So one is that you don't need to stay with your other scout the whole game. Um, you don't need to push in at the same door and always be with him. You can reconnect with him in fights and just support him through rotating aggro and making sure he can get out or helping him fight people. So tip number two is to ask people for help in fights whether you need help trying to win them or you need help to quickly focus people down if you know that you can take a good fight. So this is a tip for newer scouts. You don't need to plus forward into people and die after the trade. You can always back up and play heals or you can always reload and get help from your team. People really undervalue hitting for 40s instead of going in and hitting two 100s. Your overall damage output will be higher if you can stay alive. So realize that these tips apply towards helping everyone on your team and not only your other scout. Since comms are really important in this game, you should get across to your team who you're fighting, what kind of damage you're dealing, and who you want to focus down.